So welcome or welcome back to Btide and in this video we are going to set up the Playfab integration kit that just got released on the marketplace. Now that's not just it got released a week ago but anyways thanks a lot for all the support we got a huge number of sales uh, that I did not expect but anyways if you are looking forward to creating a game and you need the Playfab integration Playfab kit would be a good place to start with but for instance if you are in cannot afford to buy that kit don't worry we have all the tutorials available on the youtube channel you can go through them and follow them so uh that said let's get started with the tutorial itself and thanks a lot also our eos integration kit is also coming very soon and that will be open sourced so it would be free for all although on marketplace it would be like 30 35 dollars and which will get you some extra premium support and it's a very nice lobby based example project so that said let's get started with the playfab one so now let's get started with the tutorial i will create an empty project it's a completely blank project so nothing to suspect there let's wait for the project to get started and here it is now let's go to the epic marketplace and here is the epic marketplace and the playfab integration kit if you have not purchased it you can do that and now you can add it to your product so we have named it playfab tutorial so uh, playfab tutorial yeah here it is and i will add it to the project i'm following this video with 5.1 but you can use any supported version 4.27 will work also now you can notice we have the project here but uh, let me open up the level and if i try playing you will see that we get a bunch of errors now these are basically because we have not uh, enabled the playfab plugin so we will have to go to project settings plugins and search for playfab and here it is you can download the playfab plugin from the marketplace the link will be in the description that's free and you also need to enable VARST plugin VARST so let's wait a few seconds hmm, yeah now let's go and open up the level itself that is in the menu yeah and now if I play that there won't be any errors and the level will get started so before doing that now we need to like change the values that we have in our game instance so basically game instance is the class that is controlling everything so we will have to make a few changes oh it's a crash so now this crash is not because of uh, the plugin uh, sorry the project itself it's about the um, dtx 12 error so you can just go to project and windows so it just do that this like just do this if you are having some problems windows and change the default to dx uh, direct x11 and this way the crashes will go okay so now let's up let's open up the level and go to the project settings maps and modes and change the default game instance to the bp game instance now this is the level that comes up with the project itself so we will set it as the default level so when this is done we will have to go to the playfabs website let me open up the website itself so here is the website let's go and create a new studio and we will name it something like playfab integration kit studio or something like that although the playfab website is a little bit slow so here we will just name this playfab studio playfab kit studio and now let's create the studio so basically studio means like is a collection of games or titles that you are going to have in your uh, project so it must be equal like like if i was creating a game for btid studio it, the studio name would be btid of course and the game title name would be uh, demise or whatever the game name is so a little bit slow let me reload hmm, and scroll down we must have uh yeah we have that play five kit studio and we have a demo game my game so we will create a new title and new title means new game so this will be playfab 
get is a game or something like that whatever the name of your game is so let's keep it here so we have play5 game as the project name and it gets created instantly so as you can see we have the id which we can copy from the url itself so we will copy it go to our project settings and maps and modes and open up the game instance so this way you don't need to go to the content browser for the map uh, sorry game instance now select the game title id and paste the title we also need to change it in the project settings rest everything is okay here we do not need to change anything else let's go to the project settings and scroll down till you see playfab and yeah in the plugin section you can see we have the playfab settings and put the id here too although that is not required but it's just recommended that we do it so this was the basic setup and now if you play and the playfab uh, opens up correctly and i can anonymously log in also so and if i press on play dedicated server match you can see we cannot find the config so this is the most important part of this video because users are having problem here so let's go and set up the matchmaking part so as you can see the queue name is test queue so you can either create your queue named as test queue or you can change the name there but let's go to multiplayer and then matchmaking and let's create a new queue the queue name can be anything we will just put it test queue minimum and maximum players is the like the player count that you're going to have in your game and we want the time and number of players matching to be shown now server allocation is required for dedicated servers but we are we already have a video for how to create servers so we are going to skip over that part and here we will have region rule and remember the miss like the spellings should be exactly the same here we will have the latency setting so we will have dollar dot latencies so let me just put thousand as the maximum latency here and here we will paste the dollar dot latency thing yeah like this remember the spelling mistake should not be there spelling should be same for latencies rest everything will be handled in the code itself and now if i play and log in anonymously and play dedicated server match it will take a few seconds to come up so as you can see the waiting for match has appeared so waiting for match appear really tells you that now we are waiting for more players that means the matchmaking part is now completed now if you want to upload the server you can follow the server creation video but the matchmaking is now handled carefully here so let's move forward so now on the playfab's website itself let's go to economy and economy legacy so economy version 2 video will be out very soon so for till then we are going to use the legacy version now the currency code used in the game is uh, uc and unknown currency but if you have some other currency code that you want to use you can just like uh, for instance just some funny name md and we can have something like maggie uh doodles or something like that just something random <laughs> so we will have to like okay, give the initial deposit amount everything can be zero but i usually give uh initial deposit before oh sorry this thing and the recharge maximum should be 10 yeah so this maggie doodles now has to be connected in the game itself so we will go and go to the code for update inventory and here we have a uc so we will change the symbol to md so everything for the currency will be handled in md and then we have a purchase function so we have the symbol here also so we will change it to md and the store function is now ready oh sorry the currency thing is now completed and rest uh, everything is set up so we do not need to change anything here 
now yeah let me open up the kfabs website and now we need to set up the leaderboard so let's create a new leaderboard and name this kill leaderboard and you can name it something else also like if you want a leader for for shooting you can have it like the number of shooting the user has done or something like that something absurd but you can have it so we have four aggregation methods as you can read uh, normally you would be using the last change if you want to have a leaderboard of how many kills you have like the maximum number of kills in a single match then you want it to uh, do that something and we will just put the name here and the leaderboard is also ready for statistics updation we have a function which you can check out in the game now we have the register function so let's uh, log in anonymously and you can see we have currency 4 that was the daily amount we have play 5 id and you can see our username is empty so let's add a new username i will name this hello update account username change success and you can see we now have a hello username and we can have uh, custom player data we can add custom user data for instance you want uh, something like you want to store some values in playfab for the user you can add that and that will come on the website also uh, so it's not something that is just coming on the here and the leaderboard is empty uh, it does return the data as you can see successfully but the leaderboard is usually empty because we do not have any entry there and the shop is also empty because we have not added any items if you don't know you can just, just check the documentation out on how to add the items and or you can you are free to ask questions in the uh, discord server and we would be happy to help you out so that is it uh, thanks a lot for purchasing if you have done that and if you haven't then too thanks a lot for watching this video <laughs> let's uh, meet you in the next one thank you